this has a very quality feel to it. I love the actual sleekness, the lines. It's a lot bigger than I thought. As you can see, it's got a pretty big footprint. But if it actually increases the range and the st signal strength, then that, I mean the size will be secondary. Programmable buttons here. Wi-Fi WPS boost. These are for the antenna connections. You have four ports, Ethernet ports. This is the dedicated gaming port, the 2.5 gig. This is the actual Ethernet port for your service provider, and then you have four more. A lot of people complain that there weren't enough ports, but every router I've had has only had four ports. You have your 3.0 USB connections, your power, and these are the lights that I'm assuming light up. It's a very cool, very cool looking router. And like I said, there's only two of these or three of these that I looked online that has a new AX technology that basically the data packet delivery that those do increase your gameplay significantly. It includes streaming, uh, internet browser, everything. Everything to do with your internet, it sends a signal faster, stronger to any device you have. The thing I like about this is you can actually, the new thing is the AI mesh, which has other routers have the nodes which you can connect around the house and that'll extend your Wi-Fi. This one with uh, Asus, you can actually connect your old router. I have an old Asus router which this will replace. You can actually connect that router to this device and actually that router will in essence work as your node and it'll be like intelligent AI. So basically as I walk around the house, the actually this one will be running the system where Wherever I get the strongest signal, my phone will switch over to that signal. So it could either be this one or it could be the router that will be connected to this as well. So online I read, be very careful when you're screwing these in. Like I tell you right now, it does have a flimsy feel to it. And don't over tighten because I can already tell if I go a little further. Maybe one, like right here I feel the tension is already already there anymore and I'm gonna run the risk of damaging the actual connector and there you go there's a little gap there so it's not resting against the machine itself but that's your antenna it's gonna look way bigger once I connect two four six seven it's gonna have eight antennas total so that's it's gonna be a it's gonna be pretty big maybe a little bit of an eyesore where I have it because I don't have my gaming system set up with a whole lot of space but again I'm not complaining this is your Ethernet port and your wall jack your power supply and that was it seemed like they kept it simple with the accessories but what do you really need I'll let you know I'm gonna do when I install this one I'm actually gonna do a test run with my old router and I'm actually record the speeds and the distance because my issue is I have some Wi-Fi stuff at the back of the house the property and it's such it loses signal constantly and I'm always reconnecting and I think it's because the router I have the bandwidth it's on a 2.4 it doesn't reach it so this supposedly has a wider range for the Wi-Fi so I'm hoping that installing this with all these uh, antennas on there will actually let me reach that device and I won't have the constant dropping the signal it's actually a security camera and it keeps dropping so we'll see if this really does increase the the distance and we'll see if it even increases the strength of the signal because I have a few dead spots in the house so I'll let you know how that works out now I took a little bit of video just so you could see the RGB lighting at the top it's actually a very cool setup you can change it from different lighting to specific colors to one solid color but it looks pretty nice here I'm gonna go over the speeds briefly all these speed tests were conducted with the one gigabyte internet service. Now, here, we have all five devices doing speed tests at the same time and streaming at the same time. Now, the Samsung S2, that's the oldest device I have, but the other one's the Amazon Fire Stick, the 4K, the Galaxy S9, the Lenovo C630, and the HP laptop, all fairly recent, so the internal antennas should really take advantage of the wireless signal sent by the new router. As you can tell here, all my download speeds were in the average in the 20s, and my upload speeds vary from the low 7 to the highest, I believe, is 28. 
Now we go to the same 2.4 channel on the new router and the speeds are dramatically different. Fire Stick to 240. The Galaxy S9 went from 21 to 45, so not the major difference. But if you look at the tablet, it went from 25 to 76. The HP went from 17 to 202, but if you look at the upload speeds, now we have the lowest at 17.6 and the highest is now 254, which is in the HP laptop. So the speeds are considerably better just on the 2.4 channel. So now let's take a look at the 5G. Now let's look at a side-by-side -side comparison of the 5G channel on the old router and the new router. On the old router, on the ACRT1750, the Fire Stick was 43, the Galaxy S9 was 60, the Lenovo 37, the Samsung S2 tablet, for whatever reason in this 5G mode, it would not perform the speed test with all the other devices pulling on that same bandwidth. I don't know if that's due to the older internal antenna, that's the oldest device conduct, or the oldest device used in the speed test. So I couldn't tell you, I couldn't give you a definite answer on that. The HP laptop, it's at 18 and 27 uploads, so that's not really great either. Now if we look at the 5G on the AX11000, those speeds are insane. We have 310 on the Fire Stick, 91 and 108 upload on the S9. The Lenovo is at 204 and 241 upload. The Samsung S2, the tablet, my oldest device on here gets 60 down and 84 up. The HP laptop went from 218 download and upload 288. So basically these devices at the 5G have much, much faster download speeds, but the upload speed is also huge. And when it comes to actual streaming security video or a server and actually streaming from elsewhere, that upload speed is what you want. Now we're gonna take a look at the speeds and the signal strength from the actual yard area. It's about 100 feet away from the router. And this is where I have the most issues because of the security cameras. They're wall wireless cameras, they're 4K, and basically it's a motorized pan and tilt camera system. So you need to have a good download to be able to control the cameras and a good upload to stream this, this high content, this HD content. So when we're at about 100 feet away from the router, if you look at the old router at 2.4, it was 52 download and 24 upload. The reason I'm using the 2.4 channel on the old router was due to the distance, the 5G wouldn't even reach. So there was no point in putting up those speeds. And the reason I'm using the 5G on the new router to compare is because that's what I'm gonna be using. Because I want the fastest channel, the 5G, to deal with all the HD content. So that's what I'm gonna use for my internet connection for those cameras, so that's what I wanna compare it to. So as you can see, it went from 52 download to 184, and it went from upload 24 to 135. So with these speeds, I've already tested it, I'm able to actually stream the video content from my cameras, not lose any camera connection to its actual hub, and I'm able to control the cameras with my phone without any issues. There's no freezing, there's no, uh, it doesn't crash on me at all. Now let's look at the garage system, because that's even further away, that's about 133 feet away. So here we have the signal strengths for the routers in individually, the AC RT1750 and the AX11000. Funny enough, even though the signal strength was pretty much the same across all the board, you can tell by the speeds were dramatically different. The old router at 2.4 would give me a download of 31 and an upload of 16. So that wasn't good enough for the cameras and the motorized control and the actual streaming. The 2.4 and the Asus would reach that distance and it gave me 218 download, 150 upload. The 5G on the Asus AX11000 also reached and that gave me a whopping 346 download and 202 upload. So I've already tested the camera system with this and it's seamless. The streaming content from those cameras, the ability to actually always connect the actual camera to its hub and not lose any signal, and the actual ability to control the actual camera with the pan and tilt on my phone from any location is priceless. So now when you ask, is a $500 router worth it? For me it was, because it allowed me to get full use of my security system, which was worth more than 500. It allows me to get the best speeds out of all my devices. It allows me to get the maximum speed from my internet service, which I'm paying the monthly service fee for. So for me, if you add up all the value I'm getting from all the devices, I'm actually getting my money's worth with the router. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and we answered the question if a $500 router was worth it. In my case, it was. 
If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you didn't, leave a comment below. And hopefully I can make it better next time. Talk to you later, guys.